Welcome back to Sidewater, everybody. We do have a huge moderate risk in effect for the United States. Here is all you need to know about today's outbreak. So we do have a moderate risk in effect for a large chunk of Louisiana, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Arkansas, and into the Missouri area today. So I'm going to play out the key cities we need to watch out for for the uh, day one moderate risk, Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Missouri, Des Moines, Iowa, Little Rock, Arkansas, Cedar, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. You guys are in a moderate risk and a play for today. Uh, in the enhanced, you guys in the enhanced, Chicago, Illinois, Indianapolis, Indiana, Nashville, Tennessee, Cincinnati, Ohio, Louisville, Kentucky. You guys are in the, a large area of the hands risk today. Cities in the slight, Columbus, Ohio, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Kansas City, Missouri, Toledo, Ohio, uh, Lexington, and Fayette, Kentucky. You guys are in a slight risk for today. The marginal, Dallas, Texas, Detroit, Michigan, Cleveland, Ohio, Atlanta, Georgia, and Tulsa, Oklahoma. Taking a look over here at our tornado risk. We have a large 15% risk for areas of Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Missouri, Des Moines, Iowa, Little Rock, Arkansas, Cedar Rapids, Iowa. And then a SIG risk in play for a large chunk of the United States today. And the stuff I just circled right there, SIG risk for Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, uh, St. Louis, Missouri, Tennessee, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, Cedar Rapids, Cedar, uh, Cedar Rapids, you guys are in a 15%, um, and Little Rock, Arkansas, you guys are in a SIG. The SIG is going to be a hatch. This is where you guys are going to see the greatest chance for uh, tornadoes, even the 15%. Uh, Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Missouri, Des Moines, Iowa, Little Rock, Arkansas, Cedar Rapids, once again, you guys are in a 15%. Nashville, Tennessee, Aro, Illinois, Huntsville, Alabama, Rockford, uh, Illinois, in Naperville, Illinois, you guys are in a 10%. And then Chicago, Illinois, Indianapolis, Indiana, Louisville, uh, Kentucky, Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky, Birmingham, Alabama, you guys are in a 5% for tornadoes. And for the 2%, um, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Kansas City, Missouri, Atlanta, Georgia, Cincinnati, Ohio, and Fort Wayne, Indiana, you guys are in a uh, 2% for tornadoes. Taking a look at our hail risk today. Uh, looking to look at our uh, wind risk. I'm so sorry for that. Let me go back to the wind. Uh, taking a look at the wind risk, we do have a 40 per 45% chance on the wind. This is extreme. We have a SIG risk for Indiana, Indiana, Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, Louisville, Kentucky, Des Moines. Uh, Des Moines, Iowa, and then to the 45%, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, uh, per, per, Peary, Peary, uh, Illinois, da da Davin Davenport, Iowa, Bloomington, Illinois, Iowa City, Iowa, you guys have a 45% and a 30%, you guys are going to be in a Chicago, uh, Chicago, Illinois, Indianapolis, Indiana, in Memphis, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, St. Louis, Missouri, you guys are in a 30% for wind today. And then Columbus, Ohio, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Toledo, Ohio, uh, Lexington, Fayette, Kentucky, and Birmingham, Alabama. You guys are in a 15%. Dallas, Texas, Detroit, Michigan, Kansas City, Missouri, Cleveland, Ohio, Polono, Texas. You guys are in a 5% for the, uh, for the uh, wind risk today. Okay, taking a look at the day one on the hail we do have a 30% risk in different areas of the United States, one in the northern Iowa area and one into the uh, Arkansas area. So first, let's get to the SIG. SIG, Memphis, Tennessee, St. Louis, Missouri, Shreveport, Louisiana, Des Moines, Iowa, and Little Rock, Arkansas. You guys are in a SIG for hail. Des Moines, Iowa, Little Rock, Arkansas, Cedar Rapids, Iowa, Pure uh, Illinois, Davenport, Iowa. You guys are in a 30% for the hail. And then for the 15%, Chicago, Illinois, Memphis, Tennessee, uh, Kansas City, Missouri, St. Louis, Missouri, and Madison, Wisconsin, you guys are in a 15% for hail. And then Dallas, Texas, Indianapolis, Indiana, uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Nashville, Tennessee, and Tulsa, Oklahoma, you guys are in a 5% for hail. Taking a look for tomorrow's event for the slight, we have a slight risk for portions of Ohio, 
and into portions of Pennsylvania. We also do have a uh, extremely interesting event when it comes to cities, Pittsburgh, uh, Pennsylvania, Youngstown, Ohio, Youngstown, Ohio, uh, Rochester, New York, and Cyrus, New York, and Albany, New York. You guys are under a slight too. Take a look at the tour risk. We don't have any tornado risk in effect at this time, so that is always a good thing to see. Taking a look at the hail risk, I will say that we do have a 5% out for hail, and these include Virginia Beach, uh, Virginia, uh, Rely, North Carolina, Norfolk, Virginia, Chesapeake, Chesapeake, Virginia, and Durham, North Carolina. Wind risk, we do have a significant wind risk up in the northern parts for 15% in areas of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Rochester, New York, Cyrus, New York, and Albany, New York, and Youngstown, Ohio. For the 5%, we have New York, uh, New York, New, New York, uh, and then Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Baltimore, um, Baltimore, not real sure of that, uh, area, and then, uh, Boston, Maine, and then Virginia Beach, Virginia. So take a look at the Little Rock, Arkansas for the five-day forecast. Today is a red alert. We will be live around 1.30. Uh, severe weather live stream for Little Rock, Arkansas. It is going to be 77 out, which is going to help fuel those storms out today into uh, areas of Little Rock. Tomorrow, pretty sunny, 72 as a high. Uh, Saturday, Sunday, mostly cloudy, 74. Uh, and then Monday, as you go in, we have some uh, AM clouds that will be coming in. Uh, so it's going to be cloudy in the morning, but in the p in the afternoon, uh, into the evening, it's going to be pretty sunny. So it should be a nice sunset. But then we got Tuesday. It's going to be a high of 83 with uh, nighttime thunderstorms. That is your five-day forecast for the Little Rock, Arkansas. Take a look at the Memphis, Tennessee. It's going to be a high of 79 out there today. With a red alert, severe weather alert for the Memphis, Tennessee. Tomorrow is going to be a high of 66, sunny. And then Sunday, you're going to be going in with mostly sunny with a 73 degrees as a high. Monday, you're looking at a morning thunderstorms going on into a high of 80. And then a high of 81 with some afternoon thunderstorms into the Tuesday into the Memphis, Tennessee regions. Alright, taking a look at the timing for the... Thunderstorms that's going to be taking place right now. We have nothing really going on this time, but one hour out you can see about two hours out You can see that the initiation is starting to start into the Arkansas and into the Missouri areas And into the Iowa as this initiation starts you will have indiscreet supercells that will start to fire up You can see you got some discrete supercells over in this area and some more discrete supercells down into the Arkansas and to the Missouri. And in northern Illinois, you guys have some discrete supercells. We got to watch out for that as we are going to be live on that. Take a look seven hours out. You can see that really starts to uh, be well defined as we have discrete supercells into the Memphis, Tennessee, and then to the most westward of the St. Louis area and into some of the uh, west Missouri. You guys can be seeing some supercells that will start to take place. This rain will be getting out of here around this time, uh, about seven hours out, and this will help fuel the system for a significant wind event in these regions. Let's go ahead and go out a couple more hours out. We're going to see that these supercells really start to fire up. And you, you see, I want you all to watch this Pacific region all the way down in here. As you can see, these start to really fire up and be discreet. One hour out, you can see that these are such a discreet supercells that are going to be firing up that could produce some significant tornadic potential. But the main area of concern right now is these whole areas in the Iowa, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio, and into the Missouri area, and into some of the Kentucky regions as we have it, have a tornadic event taken off. Ten hours out, you can see that these really start to form into a QLCS, and you can see that there is some thunderstorms starting to take place uh, in a little bit over there into the Ohio regions, and into the Indiana, you guys have some strong thunderstorms going in there. A couple hours out, you can see that Boeing segment really starts to take place. And look at that. The whole region of Ohio has a nasty thunderstorm taking place with a large Boeing segment that will be moving east as it continues for, for, forthward into these areas, into Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky. But one thing I do want to put a look at is look at that. 
discrete cells into this area starts to take place. So a couple more hours out, really starts to move out and starts to weaken overnight. We'll be taking a look over here into the southern regions for this outbreak. Okay, everybody, taking a look at the north, uh, the south, correct me. Uh, there is going to be some discrete supercells that really start to take place into the most western Oklahoma and into the Texas that could produce a nasty segment of uh, tornado potential with this whole squall line that really is stretching down to the Louisiana, into the Missouri, uh, Arkansas, and into some of the Texas areas. But discrete supercells do start to take place in the Missouri and you still have that long line of thunderstorms that are squall line that will be taking place. A couple more hours out, you can see they really start to break apart and gain more energy and start to uh, be more discreet. But then they start to really come together and it starts to really diminish with the severe weather threat. So that's always good news down there, but still be weather aware as there is going to be some strong thunderstorms and a possible tornado or two. And according to the SPC, a couple of violent long track tornadoes are possible with this event, so always stay weather aware with this. Taking a quick look at your temperatures today, fairly warm up here to the 63 degrees into the northern Columbus area as your maximum temperature, but some fairly warm conditions into the Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Texas, Alabama, Missouri, Mississippi, Georgia, Florida, South Carolina, North Carolina, Virginia. Uh, Kentucky, Tennessee, Indiana, and into the Illinois areas with some warm conditions. So, yeah, very warm out there, but still something to keep a lookout for. Mid day one minimum tents, fairly cold out there, as we do have a little warm area into these areas, but still some very cold conditions into the northern and to the most west part of the, oh, uh, the United States. Tomorrow's maximum temperatures are going to be 59 in Columbus with a big ridge that's going to be riding. As you can see, there is a cold stream that really starts to take place. Uh, warm conditions to the south and into some of the Nor New York City regions could be feeling like summer in that area with high 70s and lower 60s. So fairly, very warm conditions for tomorrow into the east coast. Day 2 minimum temps. Fairly cold start, but does start to warm up, so that is always a good thing. Hey everybody, take a quick look at our safety tips for today. I do want to point out safety tips for severe weather. Never drive through flooded roads. Turn around, don't drown. Tornado sirens aren't, all, aren't designed to be heard indoors, so listen to your phones or listen to us or the local news channel as we can provide local tornadic supercells in your area and we can tell you what is going on. Uh, tornadoes can occur in severe weather watches and warnings. Uh, also, take shelter for severe weather warnings too because they can produce some large hail and bust windows open. I've seen it happen several times and we could have some wind damage that starts to take place. You may not have much time to seek shelter so always be prepared and be safe. Uh, wear a helmet and shoes when taking shelter as helmets can't save your life from debris, hail, and then your shoes can uh, help you out for stepping on nails, loose nails, or debris with with um, basically uh, sharp objects. Lightning can strike several miles away from a severe thunderstorm, so always be indoors when you hear thump. Always go indoors when you hear thunder. Have a plan. Have a plan for the day of where you all are going to go if you are under a tornado warning, and just overall be prepared. Stay away from windows if there is lightning nearby. Uh, also, stay away from windows if there's a tornado, please seek shelter. Have your storm kits, local aid kits also help. And then another thing that really does help is some local, uh, you know, uh, like flashlights, canned foods if you guys do get trapped in there. Alright everybody, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at SciWeather, Instagram at SciWeather91, and our Discord SciWeather. We, all of these will be linked in description. Thank you for watching. We will be live at 12, at 1.30pm Eastern Standard Time. So stay tuned, stay weather aware. Thank you guys.